Swolter Nation, we are here, we are back at Voice Ed. Oh, I've been on the road for so long in Europe, Germany, Spain, the UK. It's nice to be back in bodybuilding.com, in the gym, doing some training stuff. They put this up while I was gone. And I wanna just, I wanna read it to you guys. How many places do you know you go to work and you get motivated like this? Now this, this is pretty much how I feel about Swolter Nation and why we do the things we do. But life is a gift. People are clapping about that already. Life is a gift. It's one that should not be taken for granted. Fitness is a call to take your life to a higher level. Set a goal, follow a plan, track results, stay motivated, motivate others, repeat. To move mountains, you must first, you first have to move muscle. Change your body, change your life. That's the Swolger Nation mentality. It's, it's setting up your life. It's setting up everything that you are about by first taking control of yourself, by changing the world, by changing those around you, by first doing it yourself, proving to yourself that you can go into the gym, that you can give it everything you have, give max effort in that one hour. That's all it is in the gym usually, one hour of the day. If you can do that, you take that, you take that knowledge, you take that, that pride, that drive, that effort, and you start applying it to other areas, areas of your life. And then once you do that, success builds and then you motivate others to do it and you just keep on doing that until it's a big snowball effect the world's a healthier happier place for doing it so we're going to train arms today i just wanted to share that with you guys soldier nation call to action bodybuilding.com knows what's up so grateful to be here working with them it's nice to be back let's do the damn thing Ugh. this is the owen gear that they have in the uk they got good style in the uk this is what i love seeing a nice empty gym. A nice empty gym that we're gonna come in and just destroy some arms. First and foremost though, it's, a, it's, an, it's an arm day, so we're not getting too crazy. I wanna make sure I have my beta alanine pre-workout, like always, doesn't matter what time of the year. I get my beta alanine, amino energy. It's about time to switch up the, the flavor on that amino energy. I think I'm gonna go grape or orange next. Watermelon's nice. Just been, I've been having wa watermelon for the last year or so. But, um, <clears throat> got sick over in the UK. Got sick over in the UK, so, uh, gonna be upping my doses of, of my supplements. I went off all supplements after the Olympia for about two weeks while I was over in the UK just to kind of, I don't know, it was more that I just didn't want to have to pack everything. I needed a little mental break. So now that I'm back, I'm gonna be coming down a little bit. You know, I ate pretty good over there. So the goal is just to tighten back up, get back down to about 4%, do some shoots for the next month, and then we're gonna be all about that lean, lean mass building. So I don't wanna ever get above 8%, 7%, but I really want to incorporate more performance stuff, really working on my strength. So I'm doing more CrossFit, I'm doing more volume, I'm doing more workouts, I'm getting after it. So supplementation, we're gonna talk about that more, how to supplement for lean gains, um, how my workouts change, how my goal setting changes. This is a time, you know, as we get into the winter months, it's a great time to kind of periodize your training and that you, we wanna be gaining, gaining muscle. So, gonna get my amino energy here and then we're gonna hit arms today. I have a special guest for you too. You might remember. Did you guys see who's back? Did you see who's back? Now we get the party started. Willis Family Chiropractic in the house. Awesome nutrition and soldier nation. Time to kick some ass. No more, uh, you know, we're gonna be, who knows, I might do a contest whenever. I don't know, right now we're just getting back to fun training. Today, advanced arms. We did arms 101, we're gonna do advanced arms today. Chad is gonna be taking us through us. I'm gonna go turn off the music though, because I don't wanna get flagged on YouTube. Let's give this one a try here. What we got? Uh, free curl machine. I think it'll be a nice, uh, nice controlled, get some blood flowing in those, those biceps. But I've never even used this uh, machine before, so we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta figure out how to turn this off. 
know where the thing's at. Keeping us in the uh, mood lane. business too. Let's get back to the business of getting down. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Come on now. Let's go. Four. Five. Six. Come on. Seven. Keep going. Eight. Keep going. Nine. There you go. There you go. There you go. And the quote is, let's get down to business so we can get back to the business of getting down. I thought about that while I was doing that set. <laughs> ah. Nice. Uh, nice. Yeah. Press uh, uh, downs over here. Do we throw any uh, drop sets or? Yeah. Yeah. So, let's do these first two just straight and then uh, we'll start incorporating those things. I really like falling chest biceps because. He's got a really complete, you know, his brachialis is in there. He's got a nice, nice separation. You'll see as he gets pumped up, he'll give it flex. He always does. Right. Warm up set. We'll do four sets here, too. It feels good to be back, like, in a group. It's been a good two months since we filmed with Chad. We've worked out a lot since then, but being in England, being in Spain, you miss your training part. Especially because I don't have a girlfriend. Chad fills that role for me. I talk, I tell him all, I tell him all my problems. <laughs> How about it? What's uh, what's Sadie going as? What's the kid on the today? Nine. So cut. Two. You know, this day, we'll be seeing us doing cables and free weights. The cables are nice because it's constant tension on the triceps. Always throughout the movement, you have tension. A free weight, a lot of time the tension comes off. So for arms especially, I do a lot of machines and free weights. Uh, whereas something like chest, back, what? Well, no music, man. Spit something for me. Get, me, get me pumped up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. It reminds me of uh, the best of Will Ferrell when he starts beatboxing as the devil. Oh, 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 I'm the devil, and I'm here to say I'm the most evil rapper in the USA. And my bitches and my homies say, I'm gonna, we're gonna tie it back up, get down to about hopefully uh, you know four again. I'm about five right now, calipers, about six hydrostatic. Um, do some photo shoots hopefully in the next month, and then come December, Christmas time, we're gonna be doing a slow bolt. So that doesn't mean eating whatever you want, that means calculating it, adding in calories, getting stronger, getting better in weak areas. Two, three, four. Wide blend.com needs to get heavier weights. Maxing out the stack. 
Just to keep my keep me from swinging on these first ones, I really just want to strict isolation in the biceps. One way of doing that is to keep your back flat against something. Biceps on these curls here, blowing them up. So Chad, Chad's using a little bit of swing, just enough to get it up to make it harder. You get a cheat to make it harder. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm trying to get to that. Oh, I'm already there. Hey, no, no touch though. Oh man, I get, a, I get a lot of people asking, do you have stretch marks? And what do you do to prevent stretch marks? I have one. Do you have any? Oh yeah. Yeah, he's got, he's got a good one right butt. there. Yeah. Uh, what do you do to prevent them? You don't. Unfortunately, if you grow too fast. Those are, uh, those are battle wounds, man. Right. I, I see some kids, though. A kid asked me in England. He had them all over. Everyone's skin's a little bit different, you know. Um, elastin is what you have in your skin. Everyone has skin. There you go. Come on, close it up. Strong, let's go. Uh. Uh. Here we go. Uh. That's how you do it. Ooh. Good job. It's a good sign. Ooh. Sick pump by now. We just pumped up our, blasted our biceps. Uh, we're working on our way to the tricep. All definition goes out the window when you get a pump like this. People will be thinking, your legs are attached to your upper body after this workout. The light, you guys remember that? No, all seven minutes of it. I can rap. Yeah, I do. I'm busting out right here. Took time, that's all. Seventh grade, man. I thought it'd be really cool. Rapper's delight. 
Everybody go hotel, motel, holiday in. I said, if your girl starts acting up, then you take her friend. I said, Skip, guys, what can I say? I can't fit them all inside my OJ, so I just take the fucking years. <laughs> Cause I'm six foot one and I'm tons of fun and I dress to a T. See, I got more clothes than Muhammad Ali and I dress so viciously. After school, you take a dip in the pool, which is really off the wall. I got a color TV so I can't see the Knicks playing basketball. Just getting a little stretch in between sets. Forcing so much blood inside the muscle, you gotta shake it out, extend, contract. <sighs> Serious pump today. Spooky, should, spooky uh, swole. You should go ahead and record that whole rapper's delight. Yeah. And then when you edit this, your background music. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is YouTube would again flag that, and that wouldn't get paid on my video. Yeah. Damn YouTube. Oh. shouldn't take any longer than that. If you're doing a compound exercise that you need a little longer in between, that's one thing. But 45 minutes of arms is plenty. Make sure you do your abs today. That's what we're gonna do. We'll bring you a uh, an advanced ab training video a little bit later on. So thank you for watching our arm workout. Again, if you can't touch your arms, you know you got that good pump. Back in the gym, hitting with Dr. Willis here, bodybuilding.com, Soldier Nation, coming at you. Goodbye, adios, peace out. <laughs>